Farming statistic on this World AIDS Day, Georgia ranks fifth in the nation for new HIV diagnosis. Let that sink in for you. One in six people with HIV here in Georgia, they don't even know they have the virus. That's according to the Georgia Department of Health. Today, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta dedicated its service to the HIV epidemic. Data from AIDS VU shows virus disproportionately impacts black Georgians. Nearly 70% of people living with HIV are black in our state. The first AIDS cases were reported in the U.S. nearly four decades ago, but that stigma around the virus, it's still there. Natisha Land joins us now to break down how HIV is impacting young Americans. Well, Aisha, it's now impacting a new generation, some who were not even alive during those early days of the epidemic. I spoke to a woman who says it took her diagnosis to realize the importance of an HIV education. I've been in a committed relationship with my kid's father for the last four years. He has infected me with HIV as of last year. So yes, I'm HIV positive. This is the viral video Winona Thomas used to tell the world she was HIV positive. She was 24 years old and four and a half months pregnant with her fourth child. I thought my life was over with. I thought I was no longer gonna have a normal life. And her biggest concern. Giving birth to an HIV positive child. But she didn't. He's negative. Winona admits before her diagnosis, she was misinformed about the virus. A recent survey found 23% of millennials and 41% of Gen Zers say they are either not at all informed or only somewhat informed about HIV. We have a crisis when it comes to our youth. They are misinformed. They have no type of understanding of how HIV is managed, lived with, or even inquired. 30% of those surveyed say they would not even want to interact socially with an HIV positive person. The stigma is really the killer when it comes to HIV. It's not the virus, it's the stigma. Would Nona pose for a billboard hugging her mom to help shed the belief HIV or AIDS can be transmitted that way? She's hopeful the work she's doing will not only help her generation, but also her children's. We are misinformed and our generation underneath us are misinformed. And so what does that mean for the generation underneath them? It can be a domino effect. Well, three years after her diagnosis, Winona does not have a detectable level of HIV. She does recommend getting tested every three to six months, depending on the level of sexual activity. And as a reminder, there are HIV preventative medications and having safe sex is also always the best choice.